Hey folks, everything new under the sun. You're looking at the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. And I won't say anything about the name of it, um, but here are five reasons you want to consider uh, as to why you would not get an EcoFlow uh, Pro Delta Pro Ultra whole home backup power or any of the uh, Delta Pros uh, for that matter. Uh, this is the regular EcoFlow Delta 2. Uh, again, you may not want this one, uh, and I'll uh, suggest why. Number one, it's all in one. If any single part of it breaks, whether the head unit, the inverter, the, the batteries, etc., um, there's no easy way to repair it. You have to send that in. That is proprietary. That is built by EcoFlow. They have to repair or replace it. And uh, will you be able to do that in a grid down situation when uh, power needs are critical? Can you MacGyver this thing to get working again? Something to think about. That's not going to be available in the middle of World War III. Number two, if it requires apps to configure anything on it, is that app going to work? As I found with uh, Senval, Senville uh, heat pump units, the app requires a cloud account. And uh, to do any scheduling or a sp uh, specific configuration on that particular heat pump, it requires that the app have internet access. So when the grid goes down, you know, right now everything's awesome. You know, everything works perfectly. You have perfect control of everything. You can uh, look at the config um, and it works great. When the grid goes down, do you have any idea if that app will keep working? I think you'd be surprised how many apps actually require uh, the internet to keep working. Number three, they are easy to steal. Looking at this particular image, look how, look how small that unit is in the garage of all places. And it's all plug and play with extension cords. How easy would it be for someone to walk in there uh, pick this up or roll it out of your garage, unplug it, and use it. It's all in one. It's ready to go. Whereas if they walk into my house, I have two uh, dedicated charge controllers. I have a whole uh, batch of uh, 16. I have 16 specific cells, 3.2 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate cells, all strung together, about 150 pounds. Uh, you can't move those, and they, if you did, they would fall apart and spark and probably electrocute you. Um, and all the wiring associated with the uh, uh, the panel, etc., and all the cables out to the solar panels, um, they're all screwed into the wall and, and buried underground. You're not walking away with my solar system. And any thief who comes in will, abs will have absolutely zero idea how to wire that back up anyways, even if they could uh, undo it all, cut all the wires, and haul it all out without killing themselves. The EcoFlow and units like it are all super portable. And uh, so uh, the thieves, uh, you know, when things go sideways in Mad Max, it's going to be something they can easily steal. Number four, will the company still be around to support this unit? It's, uh, again, it's proprietary. It's brand new. Uh, in 10 years and 15 years, are they going to still be selling lithium iron phosphate cells? to add to this when the existing cells die now the lithium iron phosphate lasts for a very long time but the cir circuit boards on them, the circuit boards and the inverters uh, or the panel uh, the the cabling the wiring uh, all that has to come specifically specifically from ecoflow you cannot get that off the shelf from a generic manufacturer if they're not around in 10 years because world war three has started because uh, economic collapse has occurred what are you going to do to replace or fix this? No one knows how to work on it. It's all proprietary. And, uh, and so, yeah, it, is the company going to, still going to be around? Number five, you don't want to create a single point of failure. A uh, similar thing to it being an all-in-one. If one piece of it breaks, in this case, you have one of these units. Most people are going to buy one because it's like $10,000 just for what you see right there. If one part of that breaks, the inverter breaks, you're done. You're out of, uh, out, out of luck. If the battery, uh, the circuit board on the battery dies or something, uh, you're, you're out of luck. And you need to send that back. Again, hopefully the company is still active. Hopefully the supply chains are still operational. The post office still, is still open. When things go sideways, none of these things will be available. And you cannot get into these things and fix them yourself. It's simply not possible. 
Whereas if you get dedicated units, charge controllers stand alone, inverters stand alone, batteries stand alone, and then all the wiring, you can mix and match. And, and I have multiple charge controllers. If one breaks, I can stand up the second one and uh, ship the one that's broken off or attempt to fix it myself. If, you know, if it's a standard component, you can open them up. They're metal cases. Um, they're meant to be opened. Uh, they've got screws on the side. These ones are very likely uh, glued and screwed shut, and opening them will void the warranty. Um, you, you're not going to MacGyver these things. So when things do go sideways, you know, everything's awesome right now. They're going to work perfectly right now in your test runs. But when things just do go sideways, you're not going to have any avenue with which to uh, use these things. So... I would uh, suggest those five things. Think about them strongly before you go. Now, this comes from a person who has a Jackery 1500. I believe there are places for these smaller portable battery packs, but for your large whole home system that you're really relying on uh, for uh, a grid down situation, uh, you know, there's, there's a whole host of reasons, again, which I just listed, why maybe you, uh, maybe you want to go with a different uh, DIY system. It's going to take you some time, but once you learn how it works as well, you're going to be able to then repair it. So it's going to set you up better uh, for um, the, uh, the post-apocalyptic world that we're heading into, the post-financial collapse world that, that we're heading into, where you're going to have to start repairing things on your own, just like the, the Dust Bowl of 1929. Uh, people didn't have money. They had to fix things. They had to uh, wear them out, use them up. Uh, and uh, or, or barter and trade with someone's skills to fix them and you're not going to be able to fix this up or barter and trade for skills to fix this one very likely um, so whereas batteries standalone batteries you can make do with other batteries etc so thanks for watching i'll leave it there we'll see you in the next video